how to integrate Webflow with Shopify. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to be telling you how you can integrate your Webflow with your Shopify account. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. Now, in order to actually integrate your Webflow account with your Shopify account, you're gonna need a integrating software. And one of the most popular ones is called Zapier. Now Zapier is a website or a tool which allows you to integrate multiple different websites with each other. So for example, like let's just say that you have your Shopify account, right? And you know, you want to connect it with Slack. So whenever someone messages or something happens on Slack, you will get an email as well so that you don't forget. It's pretty amazing. It works really, really well. So first things first, we're going to need to create a Webflow account and then we're going to go ahead and create a Shopify account and then we can go ahead and start integrating them. So for Webflow, all you have to do is the just simply click on the get started button over here at the top right corner. Once you click on the get started button, you can go ahead and continue with email or you can sign in with Google. It all depends on you. I'm going to go ahead and sign in with Google and I'll catch you guys in a second. So over here, I'm signed up and now I just have to have to, you know, set things up. So I'll just say I'm um, others and click on continue client as a freelancer. Uh, I have coded a full website. I am unfamiliar with the HTML and CSS and the business and the website that I want to go ahead and make is a, you know, business website, e-commerce website, or I'm just testing Webflow out. So I'll choose that and I'll click on continue. All right. So we are good to go. Now we, let me just exit that. All right. Exit the tutorial so that we can go ahead and start. Now I'm just simply gonna go over to Shopify and I'm gonna go ahead and use like this temporary email and I'm gonna use it to, you know, create an account. So I'll just simply paste that over there and click on start free, enter then my password and click on create your store. Are you already selling? And I'm just simply gonna skip all these questions, choose a location. And once we have chosen our location, we are good to go. All right, so now, now we need to go over here onto Zapier and we need to sign up. So I'm gonna go ahead and sign up over here. I'm gonna use the temporary email, click on get started for free and enter in the password and click on get started. All right, over here, you can go ahead and answer these questions. I'm gonna choose one to four and how can we help you to customize your experience so for this one i'll just say that you know um i'm a business owner and click on continue and i'll skip this and i'll finish this later now zapier is a pretty amazing website but you know it's also free you can go ahead and you know buy other apps as well now over here as you can see we have this option right here these are like pre-made uh, workflows like Gmail and you know attached to Google Drive so or Google Drive to Gmail so whenever someone uploads a certain uh, you know application on a Google Drive you will get an email for that so but for me I, I'm not going to use this one and I'm going to go ahead and click over here and I'm going to choose this one and you know flip it so I will connect my Google Drive with my Gmail that way it's better I'll connect, click over here and over here I'll Gmail, I'll choose Gmail and over here when this happens. So whenever a new file or new file in folder, or I'll just say, you know, a new file is uploaded, then do this. All right. Then over here, send email. So pretty simple. Send email in Gmail when a new file is, you know, in Google Drive. So let's go ahead and try it out so basically what we're doing is we're creating an integration now this integration is called zap so because of zap here so now over here i just simply have to sign into my google drive I'll allow it and i'll choose this account yep i'll choose that and click on continue and we're going to set up a trigger my google drive click on continue now we just test the trigger click on continue yep all right, now we just send an email in Gmail. We're going to choose Gmail. Yeah, it's Gmail. And send a email. Yep. Click on continue. We need to sign in onto Gmail as well. Oh, it's pretty simple. We'll click on allow. And once that is connected, we are good to go. Now we just simply click on continue. And now over here, two, over here, we just select our data. 
so this is an action so we'll just say new file in google drive so over here we basically enter in our you know options over here and then we are good to go so i'm going to go ahead and do this and i'll catch you guys in a second so as you can see i've set the email the test so i sent it over here as you can see the drive this was a temporary email address and as you can see i received the email as you can see hi a new file has been uploaded into your drive so as you can see it's pretty simple something like this you could go ahead and do that then you can turn it on and then whenever someone you know uploads a file within your drive it's gonna send us a zap same thing we can do with you know webflow and shopify so let's go ahead and do that so over here let's go ahead and click on create zap right and over here we'll choose an event all right but first we got to choose the application we'll choose webflow over here and then we'll choose a trigger or a new order or updated order from submissions let's go ahead with new order and click on continue and now we need to sign into our webflow account it's going to take us over here and we'll sign in into our webflows account authorize over here and then we'll click on continue now we select a trigger all right we can add a custom a trigger or whatever and for now we can choose this website over here select the site that you would like to receive a notification as you can see i haven't created a site as well so let's go ahead and actually select this template and we'll select create this site all right it's uh activating over here all right good to go now we'll just publish it or we'll publish the selected domain and now we'll just simply close it so now it, we should be able to see a uh, option over here so let me just re reload it now we choose over here over here we should have the site but it's still not coming up I refresh the fields is it not done let me go back to my dashboard all right so basically i think this is good so over here this is the website that this is how it looks like it's loading up uh, it's still not ready yet so we have to wait for it to be ready i think it's still loading up so i think there might be a problem for me because i can't really choose anything i don't think they're having trouble getting some data um it's weird i don't know why maybe this would do it let's go ahead and click on next next and then we choose the value now here we have to enter in our site but i can't seem to enter it i don't understand why but uh generally you get the idea right like all you got to do is just simply you know choose the website and then you you know go ahead and continue but for some reason i can't really do this let me actually you know go ahead and switch it up then maybe do it maybe if we convert you know we just simply connect shopify with our website maybe that could work so let me just enter in shopify but it's premium so i can't really do that as well but generally you get the idea like you know i gave you the example of you know connecting your drive with gmail so pretty much that's it that's how you do it you just simply have to connect these two and choose an action and then a trigger and you should be good to go then whenever something happens you'll get a notification so pretty much that's it so that is it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible so having said that i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye